What would you do if your neighbor built a nuclear reactor in their backyard? Well, a 17-year-old did exactly that in Michigan, USA. David Hahn was fascinated by chemistry and chemistry experiments since the age of 10. By the age of 10, David built a laboratory in his parents' house, and by the age of 15, he aspired to build a nuclear reactor. Yeah, because that's a totally normal thing to do. To build a nuclear reactor in his mom's house, David started to gather all the required information. He wrote letters posing as a high school physics teacher named Professor Han in order to gather the required information from nuclear agency officials. Talk about social engineering, that's insane! After gathering the technical knowledge, David began searching for radioactive materials. He managed to extract radioactive isotopes from various household items and also obtained black ores from a Czechoslovakian firm. After multiple failures, he managed to extract a good amount of radium from a vintage clock. Armed with the radioactive material and the technical knowledge, David managed to build a tiny reactor. His homemade reactor never reached critical mass, but it began emitting a thousand times more radiation than normal background radiation. Alarmed of the unprecedented radiation level, he began dismantling his project. After dismantling the reactor and putting it in his car, because that's a total normal thing to do, he had a run-in with the police. The discovery of the reactor prompted an investigation, a dismantling, and cleanup of Han's mother's property and the neighborhood. Imagine somebody comes to clean up your entire freaking neighborhood because your friend decided to build a nuclear reactor. Han was requested to submit an evaluation of radiation exposure, but he refused. Watching years and years of his hard work being dismantled and thrown away made David depressed. This would follow with a breakup with his girlfriend and his mother's suicide. After high school, he joined the Navy and hoped to pursue a nuclear specialist career. But after a few years, he was discharged on medical grounds. In 2007, the FBI learned that David was trying to build a nuclear reactor again, but this time he was collecting Americum from stolen smoke detectors. This guy sounds like a supervillain. He was charged with larceny and 90 days in jail. I feel like that should be a lot longer. David Hahn passed away at the age of 39 due to fatal intoxication. Well, that's that. Pretty unbelievable, right? What would you do if somebody tried to build a nuclear reactor in your neighborhood? Do you think David should have been put in jail for that? Leave your answers in the comment section below. If you like this video, hit the like button. And if you found it unbelievable and amazing, just hit the wow reaction. Also share this video because every single time you share this video, it helps us go out there and find more facts. Also, if you have any facts that you want us to cover, just write them in the comment section below and we'll get to them as soon as we possibly can. My name is King Percival. I've been your host and it may be unbelievable, but it's true.